Hi, welcome to educators.com. I'm Shavanti, your Hadoop instructor. In this module, we are going to discuss about what is Clean Clean Architecture. Clean. This Apache Clean is mainly to load the data from the different streaming data sources into your uh, Hadoop HDFS or HD. Any kind of the streaming data such as web server logs or Twitter tweets or SD posts and any kind of the streaming data you can load that into your uh, Hadoop with the help of the Flume ecosystem component. The Flume is a uh, distributed, reliable and uh, it is uh, very efficient uh, in collecting and uh, aggregating and finally moving the data into your Hadoop data sources. And here it is not only for the log analysis, it is not only to load the log with server logs, we can also use it for all the social media generating data can be loaded into your uh, Hadoop with the help of these uh, human ecosystem component. Similar to your uh, uh, scoop, that is also one of the data ingestion uh, tools, but that is to load the data from the RDBMS, but Hume is mainly to load the ingest the data from the different uh, streaming data sources. Streaming is nothing but the data is continuously generating from any of your sources. And if you see this, the data generators are where exactly your data is generating. It may be a Facebook post, it may be a Twitter tweet, the server logs are any of the cloud. So with the help of this new ecosystem component, you are loading that into your uh, centralized store such as the Hadoop distributed file system or even the HBase as an OSQL database as well. And if you see the Flume architecture, you do have uh, data generators. And here, especially you will be having a component called a Flume agent. You can have a Flume multiple agent. These are all responsible to collect the data from the generator and then it is collect that into the data collectors and finally store that into the centralized stores such as your uh, Hadoop distributed file system also. As we mentioned that the data generators are from where your data is generating from whether it is from Facebook or Twitter or this is the source. And the data collector is nothing but it collects the data from the different stream agents and uh, it aggregates the data and pushes that into your uh, other distributed file system or HD. Whatever the data we are generating from any of these uh, um, the stream agents, we call that as events. This is a small unit of the data that is transported inside your flume. And if you see the Flume agent, if you closely observe it, you will be having a source, channel, and sync. These are the three important components as part of your Flume agent. So in the left hand side, if you see, there is a web server. Let's assume that your web server is continuously generating the log file. And our criteria is to load that into your Hadoop distributed file system. So internally it uses the Flume agent consisting of a source, channel and the sync. So the purpose of the source over here is to connect to your web server log and then it places that data into your channel. That means the channel is a transient store. It stores some of the data inside your channel. Once the channel data has been completed, then it will be retrieved by the sync. The sync is responsible to retrieve the data from the channel and it places that into your Hadoop distributed file system. You see the source? Source will connect to your uh, data generators and it will collect the data from there and it transfer that into the channel. And the channel is nothing but a transient store. It stores the data in simple words. And 
temporary source the data and until it's consumed by the sink or uh, the channel is the place where your data is uh, stored. Uh, different channels are available like a file system channel, memory channel and the JDBC channel. And if you see sync, the main purpose of the sync is to connect to your channel and whatever the data is there in the channel, it will fill that data and place that into your final destinations like Hadoop distributed file system or HD. If for example if the sync is a HDFS sync, if you specify the HDFS sync, you can now uh, store that data into your Hadoop distributed file system. So whatever we are seeing as part of the theme architecture, like a source, channel and the sync, in your field configuration file, you will be defining those uh, parameters. In the next module, we are going to talk about how to load the Twitter data into your Hadoop distributed file system. In that case, as part of your uh, theme cons directory, theme configuration property file is there. That particular file, we will be loading that as a, and then there you will be specifying the CFS directory where you want it to store. Besides that, you will be also specifying your source channel and the same details as well. By referring that theme configuration properties file and using these three source sync and channel, it loads your Twitter data from your Twitter to your Hadoop distributed file system. Summary. In this module, we have seen what is known. The, theme, the primary purpose of this theme is to do a data ingestion from the streaming data sources such as web server logs and uh, Twitter or Facebook. You can load that into your either HDFS or else even into the um, H-based NoSQL database as well. Thank you. We are starting in the next module.